You know, <clears throat> I do get quite a few questions when it comes to leg training, lower body training. And, you know, I can't get my legs to grow. But I squat. And honestly, we can apply this to any body part. Whether it's your bench press, your chest, your triceps, maybe it's your back, whatever. What this really comes down to is not whether or not you're training. It's whether or not you're bringing the appropriate level of intensity. So, there's that. I would like to believe that I'm an intense human being and that intensity, um, you know, I've, I've just always been a certain way. If you ask anybody that's known me, you know, from, from back in the day, right? Ask my, um, my best friend from college, my, my roommate, my first year of college. Um, I've been intense. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a hundred or I'm zero. That doesn't mean that I'm special. It doesn't mean that I have some ability that you don't have. I'm just hardwired to be an intense human and that's okay. And maybe you are not hardwired to be that way. And that also is okay. But let's talk about some training principles um, as they pertain to intensity. Or let's talk about intensity as it pertains to training. So... You know, oh, well, I do my squats or I train legs twice a week and my legs don't grow. Obviously, we're going to take into account that we're just going to make the bold assumption that you are eating enough to support your goals. Um, your hormones support your goals. Um, your, your metabolic health supports your goals. We're going to assume all of those things are in order. And if they're not, well, we'll cover that another time. Now. You're in the gym, you're training, you're under the squat bar. Your programming says, all right, we got um, four sets of eight to 10 reps. And you do your four sets of eight to 10 reps and you get to the fourth set and you're on like the ninth or 10th rep there. And you know, it's tough. But you probably could have gone a little bit harder. Now, Let's also assume that your technique is pretty damn solid. You're pretty polished when it comes to your tech. Okay. You got weight on the bar. You're doing your workout. You're just doing your work. You know, you're doing your thing. What I need you to consider, or what you should consider, I, should say, I don't need you to do anything. You need it. You're the one that needs those quads. I never trust anybody that has a skinny ass. And I digress. Your intensity under the bar. What I mean by that is, you know, I want you to get to the last one or two reps in, in you know, I, said, I made this comment to a client a while back. This is a few years back. And I said, uh, they, they were bench pressing. And it was one of those things about like, well, you know, I want, how much more do I need to push? And yada, yada. I said, well, you're trying to get strong as humanly possible. You, you need to risk your face. Now, obviously, I was there to spot. I wasn't going to let them bust their face because they failed under a barbell. So we're talking intensity, right? So if you're trying to change your body, maybe it's a stubborn body part. It's not just about doing sets and reps. It's doing sets and reps like to the point where your body feels like it's going to die. And I'm not trying to exaggerate. Like I want you to push to a point where you've just never been. Um, you know, I've been training these past couple of weeks and, you know, training in a, in a, in a manner that I haven't trained in a while to where I'm like sucking wind between sets because I'm, I'm resting less between sets because I want to 
I, I need the intensity to be there. So it could be a shorter rest period, be more weight, more controlled reps, more intentional reps. You've heard me talk about intention before. But intensity. I don't want you to work out. I want you to train. And I want you to train to the point where like people are going to look at you in the gym and be like, wow, this guy's fucking nuts. If you really, truly want to change your body, you want to build muscle that you haven't had or you want to gain muscle that you, you've lost, you need to train to a level that people that are around you in the gym are gonna be like, this guy's fucking nuts. And that's how you do it. Are you ready for that? I don't know. I can't answer that for you. I haven't seen your squat. I haven't seen your bench, your deadlift. I haven't, I don't know your diet. I don't know your blood work, any of that stuff. So there's a lot of factors to consider. Intensity is only one of them, but you cannot get your body to change to the level you want it to change without intensity. It's just as important as the other factors. So don't get all the other factors in line and then not bring intensity to the game. When you're sitting out in the parking lot before you go to the gym and you're like, mm -hmm -hmm. get in the mindset, right? Go through your workout, go through every set, every rep, go through it in your head. And then when you get into the gym, you gotta go to another place. I've said it to, to clients in the past of, you know, sometimes you just got to go to a dark place. You just, you go into the dark. If that's really what you want to do, it's not for everybody. It doesn't make you more or less of a, a person if you don't bring that intensity or you do bring that intensity. But the secret, the missing link in most people's training is that they just sort of work out. Train with purpose, train with intention, train with intensity. The intensity is what most people lack. So think about it. When you hit the gym today, can you level it up a little bit? You know, take it to 11. This is Spinal Tap.